The following feature has been rated F for family entertainment. Hello, Nostalgia Seekers, and welcome to TMP Cyberlink Studios. Today, I'll give you guys an update on video games based on what I complete and predictions for the upcoming. Up first, here's a recap of what games I completed so far. Most of these current video game titles shown above are completed. One exception is that instead of Garfield 2, I went for Franklin a birthday surprise, because it is slightly more common and cheap to find. It was developed in France by Nico Entertainment though, and the game is surprisingly challenging on normal mode. That said, I am saving a brand new Garfield game tile prediction in the near future, along with the rest that I will explain later in the video. As for the rest of the titles shown, they are yet to be beaten. Only the Spyro game title is currently available. All we have left is the video game titles that are yet to exist, wishing for them to be released in reality within the following time period. This time, I will organize them with selected game developers from various countries. Despite my list being incomplete, I came up with four countries with most video game titles that I think would work best for development. Oh, and stick till the end, because I will call out three participants that I would like to hear more about what video game titles they wanted to see in reality. So without further ado, let's dive into the predictions. <laughs> The listing for the Nintendo Switch is almost done. It needs two more game titles, and I figured that the Spanish development would be the right fit for family gameplay. Acquired by Alright Games are the two creative amigos, Drakkar Studio and Pet Toon Studio. For now, I only came up with one game title for the Drakkar side. That is for Paw Patrol. The reputation of amazing graphics, adorable slash nostalgic gameplay, and reasonable challenges makes me want to experience more from this poptacular franchise. Similar platforming and puzzle skills with brand new rescue missions and proper voice talent would be wonderful for gamers young and old. The remaining 15 titles would be under the PS5 collection. Speaking of which, I don't have a PS5 yet. I need to wait until the right one comes. What intrigues me is the color options. They only come in plain white, midnight black, and cosmic red for both the console and DualSense controllers. I wish they made one more color option, like a certain blue shown above. Anyway, moving on to Austria. The game development from there that I have interest to experience more is Purple Lamp Studios. The most recent family-based video game title that I could think of from this company was the rehydrated version of SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. It did good, however, it does have glitches galore, unlike the original version from Heavy Iron Studios in 2003. Despite many flaws, I would still give this game developer a chance with a brand new SpongeBob title called the Spongebob movie, Sponge on the Run. This would not only make the correct match, 
but complete the Spongebob movie game trilogy as well. As long as they give it some nostalgic elements, including the music and voice talent, and make sure there are minimal or no bugs slash glitches, I would appreciate it with pure happiness. I came up with seven ideas from various video game developers in Canada. We will start with Behavior Interactive. The top three titles selected would fit best under this developer for having nostalgic music, voice talent, and of course, a crazy variety of behaviors within gameplay. Rugrats, The Wild Thornberries, and Jimmy Neutron Boy Genius Galactic Goddard. Next up, we have Beanox. Hopefully, this will make the fourth Spyro game into its franchise to keep up with Crash Bandicoot. Just make sure it is not at a ninth difficulty level like Crash 4. It would be unplayable when that happens. For other game titles that fit well under Canadian development other than Behavior Interactive and Beanox, they are Matilda, Garfield, and Rio, Nico and Pedro's Zombatacular Party. The only thing I could think about from video game developers in Australia is pure nostalgia. This fellow might aced it with outstanding music scores, interesting variety of challenges, and superb family gameplay. Prepare to shout Bonza to my number one favorite game company, Taurus Games. It's an Australian developer so wonderful that I would like to see if they could do five game titles I came up on my list. Flipper. Bernie the Dolphin. Rio. Luis's Tropical Quest. Rio 3. Miami's Most Wanted. And Plush Time Wins World Tour. Although I need two more game titles from a different Australian game developer other than Taurus, I only came up with one idea for now. That is, The Borrowers. Because of the nostalgic sceneries and music with different missions, hoping to be based on the 1997 movie adaptation from Polygram Filmed Entertainment. So with that out of the way, it is time to display three participants that I think will share video games with the best descriptions, whether by posting a video on their YouTube channel or provide text so I could feature them here in the near future. Are you one of them? Hey, don't feel bad if you're not. You can still type your video game ideas and descriptions in the comments section below, as long as they are family entertainment related. Especially you three lucky winners out there. Thank you for your attention and watching this video. We will see you next time as we unveil the hidden wonders of Destination Nostalgia. Take care and be safe.